I had a issue two years ago, a little over two years ago. And uh, I found myself in a hospital with uh, doctors over me telling me I had a, a heart issue, a left ventricle issue. And uh, just to top it off, there was a uh, problem with uh, diabetic, which I didn't know I was. And uh, that, that it resulted in eight medications related to the heart and various things and four shots of insulin a day. Uh, the most shocking thing to me, though, was when I read the medical report, and it says uh, morbidly obese. And I had let uh, the lockdown get to me with uh, eating everything that didn't eat me first. Anyway, I had ballooned to uh, 200, I'm sorry, 317 pounds. And some of the pictures you have can show. I had a call from a fellow that you guys might have heard of called uh, Eric Beal. And he said to me, Stephen, uh, what's wrong? And I said, why would you start the conversation with that? He says, well, he says, I have this feeling there's something wrong with you. And I said, there is. And I told him, he says, you might want to take a look at this. I was fortunate in some things because uh, I was being very closely monitored from a medical point of view. So I saw things that normal people probably wouldn't see. Uh, to, to get over the whole thing. I mean, there was blood tests, there was daily blood tests, there was all kinds of things. Six months after uh, I was on X39, I, I did X49 as well. And uh, I adjusted my diet to be sure. But uh, six months after I was on the X39 and the related patches, I uh, was told by my primary physician as he sat back in his chair and took a deep breath. Uh, I have never said this to a patient before, but you're no longer a diabetic. There's no reason for you ever to have any more insulin or anything else. The tests all show that your pancreas, actually all of your organs are functioning much younger than your age. So uh, that was a pretty good one for me. And then two months after that, a cardiologist told me, the reason we ran you through all of those tests twice and believe me, they're not easy to go through, is because we thought there was some mistake because the techs have said, are you sure this guy is uh, in his late 70s? Because all of the indications here are that this is, we're looking at a guy in his late 50s. And we can't find any evidence that he, he's ever had a heart. His heart doesn't show any indications of any damage ever. It's functioning quite well. So that was the end of those eight medications. And since that time, as you all can well imagine, I have been trying to spread this incredible technology with everybody that I can. Some listen, some don't. It's, you know, it's fine. The last picture you saw up there on the left uh, in my sport coat was uh, on the 10th of February. I, that's when I turned uh, uh, 79 years old. Um, so. Anyway, uh, that's, that's what happened to me and, and 